Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today, I'll guide you through the process of uploading your app on the Google Play Store. Whether you're a developer or just someone looking to share your creation with the world, this step-by-step -step guide will help you get your app out there. This video is parted into two sections. First I will show you the process you need to follow if you've created an app with Swing 2 app and then I will teach you how you can upload any app on the Play Store. So, let's get started. Before we dive into the uploading process, make sure you have the following ready. Your app's AAB file. A Google Developer account. If you don't have one, go to play.google.com slash console and sign up. With Swing 2 app, once you've finished no-code app creation click on the app creation button and wait for 5 to 10 minutes to receive APK file. Install a file on your mobile to test your app. Now to upload your Swing 2 app app, you need to purchase paid app plan to get AAB file, which you'll use to upload your app on the store. To purchase our paid plan, you need to check recommendations or Swing paid app ticket, once you complete purchase here go to the manage version production history and download your ob file from here. Now further process is common for all users who have created an app with Swing 2 app or who have their own app. Step 1. Access your Google Play console. Once you have your developer account set up, go to play.google.com slash console and sign in with your account credentials. This will take you to the Google Play console dashboard. Step 2. Create a new app listing. When you go to the console site click on the Create Application button. Step 3. Fill in the app details. Fill in your app's basic information, such as App name, Play Store release name, Default language. If your app needs to be distributed in a specific country, select it in that language, example US English. Select an app or game. Pricing and distribution, if the app is sold for a fee, select paid, and if you select free, you cannot change to paid afterwards. Developer program policy check, check US export laws, select the create app button. Step point one initial settings. If you look at the dashboard, the step-by-step -step menu is listed in order. One, set privacy policy. Add a privacy policy to your store listing to help provide transparency about how you treat sensitive user and device data. You must add a privacy policy if your target audience includes children under the age of 13. Check the user data policy to avoid common violations. Those who have created a Swing 2 app general prototype, slide, footer, top, etc., can enter the URL of the terms and conditions provided by Swing 2 app go to the add subscription policy, set terms of services and how to delete user account and information. Once you've set information, click on the save button. Now to get privacy policy link, click on the view terms and conditions button. Copy URL link address and submit it in required field. For web apps, web view, push, created by linking a website, Please enter the link to the privacy policy provided by the website. 2. App Access To review your app, Google must be able to access all parts of it. If access to parts of your app is restricted, for example because login credentials are required, you must provide instructions on how Google can gain access. 3. Check for advertisement If there is an advertisement in the app, check yes, if there are no ads, check no and save. 4. Content Rating Google Play requires you to set a content rating for your app. Complete the content rating questionnaire to determine the appropriate rating. Select the Start Survey button at the content rating level. Enter your email address and select a category. If you don't have a category that fits your app, check Utilities, Productivity, Communication, and more at the end. Choose the Next button. The questionnaire question must reflect the content provided by the app. Example, if there is sexual material exposure in the app, you must check yes, and if alcohol or drug content is included, you must check yes. 5. Target audience and content. Please check the target age of the app. Generally, you can check age 18 or older. If you choose the app age 13 or younger, you will need to submit an additional family policy document in accordance with the child protection policy. 
Therefore, except in special cases, check the age of the app as over 18 and select the Next button. For the question that attracts children's attention, check No and click the Next button. If the app you are submitting contains content that may attract children's interest, you should check Yes. 6. News Apps News app is an item that checks whether the app you submit is a news app. 7. COVID-19 Contact Tracing and Status Apps This item checks whether the app you want to submit is a corona-related app. Corona-related apps cannot be released due to Google policy. This app can only be released by certified national institutions. 8. Data Safety To help users better understand your app's privacy, security and data handling practices, first I'll show you steps to follow if your app has a count creation process. Then I will show you process for apps that do not require user account creation. Set yes in the app collects or share data option. If your app is created in regular prototype, set no in the data collected is encrypted before transmission option. In case your app is a web app, then select according to the security of your website. Here you need to select user account creation process. If you use additional authentication, such as two-step authentication or biometrics, you must also check other authentication option. Here you need to fill your app deletion privacy policy link. General prototype app users should enter the link to the privacy policy provided by Swing2 app. It's the same link that you used in the set privacy policy option in store listing. For web app users, put link to the privacy policy provided on your website homepage. If your website the privacy policy does not include information on how to delete a user account, withdraw from membership, or delete data, please clearly state the relevant information before submitting it. Set yes and request to delete data without requiring to delete account option. Here again for general prototype users, you need to fill the privacy policy link. Make sure you have written required information in your app privacy policy data. For web app users, select option according to the website feature. Now in case you do not provide account creation option, follow this process. Set yes in the app collects or share data option. If your app is created in regular prototype, set no in the data collected is encrypted before transmission option. In case your app is a web app, then select according to the security of your website. Here set my app does not allow users to create an account option. Set no in this option. Click on the next button. Here you need to choose what information is collected from your app users. When you create app with Swing2 app, you becomes a developer. So you are responsible to write these policies in the Swing2 app privacy policy setting. I'll fill in the data types option according to my app so option selection may worry for your app. Fill this data according to your app and then click on next button. Here enter details for each data type checked earlier. Click on the arrow button and start filing the form accordingly. Click on the next button and preview your data security input. Once you're satisfied with the form, click on the Save button. The information that you provide is shown on your store listing so that users can learn how you collect and share their data. 9. Government Apps Select yes or no if your app developed by or on behalf of a government. For example, a national health, city parking, or state licensing app. Until you complete this section, Google will assume that your app is not a government app. 10. Financial Function Here you need to select what financial feature your app provides. If you don't provide any financial feature, select this option. If you do like Personal Loan Direct Lender, then check that option and click Next. Click on the arrow. Here you need to provide required information and then click on the Save button and save the final settings. Step point to manage how your app is organized and presented. 1. Select app category and provide contact details. Select an app. Select a category. Enter your email address. Check for external marketing. 2. Main store listing. 1. Listing assets. Enter the app name, app name displayed on the Play Store. Brief description, app introduction content, written within 80 characters. 
detailed description. Please write in more detail, as the app introduction, and within 4000 characters. Next, you'll need to upload a high-resolution app icon, feature graphics, and video of your app in action. Remember, first impressions matter, so make sure your graphics are engaging and showcase the best features of your app. Go to Dashboard Release Your App. Once you're satisfied with your app's performance, 1. Select Country slash Region. If you are only launching in a specific country, please search for that country and select it. 2. Production, AAB File Registration. Select the Create New Release button. Here, you can change signing key of your app. You can either use Google generated key or you can use a different key. In different key option, you get four preferences to choose your signing key. Select as per your requirement and then click on Save button. Later if you want, you can also change your signing key. After selecting the Upload button, upload the completed AAB file. You can download the AAB file directly from the Swing to Manager page to Manage version to Production History page. AAB files can be downloaded only in the Paid version app and are not provided in the Free version app. When the file upload is complete, select the A Save button at the bottom of the screen and then click on the Save button. Now click on the Go to Overview button. Here click on the Send Changes Review button. You have successfully published the app for review. Step 4. Testing. Before you release your app to the world, it's crucial to test it thoroughly. You can use the internal testing and closed testing tracks to share your app with a limited group of users to gather feedback and identify potential issues. Step 5. Production registration completed. Congratulations! Your app is now submitted for review. It may take a few hours or even days for Google to review your app. Once it's approved, it'll be available on the Google Play Store for users to download and enjoy. I hope this guide was helpful to you. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more app development tutorials. Thanks for watching and see you next time.